Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tim Shave, and today is gonna be another um, simple shave. I'm just gonna be trying out the new product that I featured last video, um, which is the Nivea Men Sensitive Calm Liquid Shaving Cream. Man, I wish they would uh, shorten up the the description a bit or the title. Just call it like Nivea Liquid Shaving Cream. I feel like that would be enough, but. Yeah, a couple of things, uh, features of this cream is that it's a vegan formula, um, it has a uh, hemp seed oil and vitamin E, and yeah, and it works pretty well. Uh, when I lathered it up, I did a face lather yesterday with it and it worked fine, so I am, I am expecting a good shave with it. <clears throat> that said, I already got it lathered up. Uh, it took in about three pinches of water, so in a healthy dose. And I got it with my stainless steel bowl, smooth surface, um, wet looking lather there. And using my West Coast Shaving Fan Tuxedo Knot and the Umo handle. Um, yeah, I really enjoy this fan um, shaped synthetics. These are some of my favorite brushes at the moment. But yeah, I got it lathered up. Let's get going. I got the Cube 2.0 pre shave on. I'm on a two days of growth, a little bit hard to see, but you can see some of the stubble poking out through the white film. Uh, yeah, let's get it going. Uh, hope you guys are having a good day. Some great shaves. Uh, put some more water there and let's get lathering. Mm. Straight off the bat, you can see that this cream takes in a lot of water, nicely hydrated off the bowl. <clears throat> if I want to just hurry it up, I could just leave it here and start shaving, but I want to work it in a bit, create some volume and Ooh. some bloopage. <clears throat> mm. Very nice face feel with this. So loft it a little bit higher. So it allows for an easy splay. You can see the knot splays out very easily. <clears throat> it's creating nice volume on the face. <clears throat> I find that if you work in the lather in circular motion, you could um, work up the density of the lather, make it a little more, more of a creamy compared to just a, of a watery lather, depending on how much water you put in. But yeah, once I work it in a bit, it gives a nice peaks and creaminess to the lather. This is looking pretty good. This is a <clears throat> shave cream that costed me three fifty fifty. This is pretty crazy. <clears throat> Makes a nice lather. Feels good on the skin. Feels pretty creamy. <clears throat> I think this is a winner for a mass produced product. <clears throat> All right, oh gosh, now they're just dripping down. Then you can take more water, so I'm gonna add one more addition and we should be good to go. Wow, look at this. Plenty of lather here. <clears throat> Plenty of volume. Whoop. Lather blooping, nice peaks. Yeah, look at this. This is some like artisan level stuff. Just by the looks of it, by the feel of it, probably not as skin foody as some some of the options that soap options out there. But feels good so far. It's not irritating my skin. I don't think I have any allergy to hemp seed oil, so that's a good sign. All right, let's leave it at that. Wow, that's a great lathering cream so far. 
<clears throat> All right. So got plenty on the brush. Just clean this up a bit. <clears throat> All right, got a nice bit of cream left over. All right, here we go. As for the first pass, as usual, I'm gonna be going with the same CJB Shavette with a Feather Artist Club Pro Blade on its seventh use. I'm just gonna keep going with this until it starts to feel tuggy. <coughs> But uh, let's get it going. Here we go. First pass through with the grain. Providing nice slickness for the blade to glide. Not bad, not bad. I think it's almost at a boot level. Oh, yep. If I shake it, the ladder will bloop. But, uh, I think I could have added a little bit more water there, but you got a nice sheen on there. Very nice. I go slower on the side of the neck right here because for some reason, uh, I think the angle of it, it's really hard to get it straight compared to other parts of my face. Pretty good so far. All right. Here we go. I think some people take this um, artist club blades up to like twenty plus uses. I don't know if I can do that, but we'll see. All right, so first pass through, not bad. Lather provided a pretty slick layer for the blade to glide. Blade to glide. Blade to glide. Mixing things up. Ooh. The old CB special. <laughs> Let's get it. Oh wow, yeah, nice residual slickness left here. Um, pretty good. I would say it's above average. But uh, yeah, let's keep going. <clears throat> First pass with the shave head. Eh, not as efficient as I like. Probably still see some stubbles left, but that's fine. In here to reduce down the stubbles, not remove it all at the first pass. Here we go, let's continue on. Mm. Very nice, slick layer. <clears throat> the scent on this cream is, it's a clean scent. Re reminds me of uh, some of the body wash. I don't like the, I used to use a lot of the Dial body wash, like the blue ones that has like ocean description on it. it smells like that. Scent strength, maybe like three out of 10. So like a subtle, clean body wash type of scent, which is, which is fine with me. Nothing surprising. 
and it has a little bit of that dankness, probably from the cannabis oil, but it is not noticeable. I just get a hint of it towards the back, but yeah, nice slick layer of soap. All right, and as for the rest of the shape, I'm gonna be going back to the Mercur Futur uh, with the feather blade on the second use. I have it at setting one. So I'm gonna test out the mildest setting here. Since I went to setting six last time, let's uh, test out the milder setting of setting one. Here we go. Second pass through, across the grain. <clears throat> Okay. Yeah, even in setting one, I could still feel a bit of the blade. Nor as much as setting six, but still a fair bit. Not bad. So that means that I can use all the settings of the Mercury Future and enjoy it. But setting one is definitely more comfortable than six. I probably will enjoy setting two and three the best, that just my guess. Even though one is working fine. Um, just feel like setting two or, and three will Provide that little bit more efficiency that I enjoy. All right, man. <laughs> All the gather or lather gather here from the second pass. Not bad of a shave. Hey, enjoying this so far. Very smooth shave. I could feel the blade. It's not menacing for me on setting one. All right, let's continue on. That was. Very efficient pass. Let's continue on here. <clears throat> Going for some cleanups. Let's check the mustache a bit. Hmm. It's pretty clean. Just gonna focus on the chin now. Got that nice hydrated layer of soap. Here we go. Let me test out setting two. So to change it, I'm just gonna Grab the bottom of the razor and twist it to setting two. Let's set a two here. Let's go for a cleanup pass. All right. Good bit of blade feedback. Yeah, I like setting two. It's pretty good. A little bit of against the grain action. All right.
Not bad. Yeah, this feels pretty solid. Feather blade with Mercurfatur. It's feeling good. Just a little bit left there. Let's put some water. Just feel around. A little bit more there. Touching on a couple of spots. All right, I think, I think we're good. Not as efficient as a setting six, but that was uh, more comfortable. Definitely feel less blade. All right, and the cream, the Nivea liquid shading cream. There was plenty of residual to buff, so that made it easy for the last uh, for the last pass. Yeah, not bad of a shave today. Let me rinse up here. Yeah, I could still feel some of the residual. Not a lot, but still a little bit left. But man, look at that clean shave. No nicks, cuts, or weepers. Looks good to me. All right, not bad at all. You rinse with some cold water and apply the alum. I feel slight sting over here. I think I buffed that area quite a bit against the grain. So, kind of expected, but we'll see how it goes. Put some more water on the skin. Going with the alum, Razor Rock alum stick here. Yeah, a little bit of sting over here. Almost nothing on the mustache. And just light sting on the neck. So overall very comfortable shave with a close result. I don't think I'm in a complete DBS, but I'm very close to it. Even on setting one and two, I was able to get to a um, comfortable and close result. Very nice. Very nice. I think I'm enjoying the feather blade. Felt sharp and pretty smooth. Uh, didn't feel like it was gonna bite my skin. Uh, most of the time, maybe there was one or twice, uh, one or two times, felt a little dangerous, but I used light pressure and it worked pretty well. Let me just feel around a bit. Yeah, the chin is very close. I barely feel any here. On the neck, it's pretty close too. Actually, that might be a BBS result. I could probably feel slight stubble here and there, but that is very close. All right, enjoyable shave today. I do have some bumps here and there, but that's just my skin problem. Not bad at all. So what did we use today? We went with the Nivea um, liquid or sensitive calm liquid shaving cream. What a long name. Lathered up with the West Coast Shaving Fan Tuxedo Knot. Excellent lather. Um, I still have a little bit on left in the bowl. Um, yeah, even after that, even after almost 20 minutes, the lather is still fairly creamy, not dissipating. So that's a good sign. Took in three pinches of water, one more addition on the face. Lathered up, slick and creamy. I would say above average residual slickness. So. Just in conclusion, I'm really enjoying this cream. I think I will be yeah, enjoying it for the future shades. And yeah, if you got a chance, 
go check out this shaving cream if you don't have any allergies to cannabis oil. This might be a nice little addition uh, to your den or just to, if you're curious, to try out another shaving cream. Uh, try this one out. I believe it's in available in Walmart in Australia. Also, it's made in Poland. So maybe people in Poland uh, have an easy access to it. I'm not sure about that, but just letting you guys know. Uh, shave first pass with the CJB. Rest with the Mercure Futur on setting one and two. Excellent shave today. Very enjoyable. Oh, I did get a small nick here. So not a nick free shave, but yeah, I, I usually get a, sometimes I get a nick after the elm treatment, but that's all right. Thank you guys for watching. This is Tim Shaves now. See you guys next, next time. <laughs> See you.